We asked seven winter sports biomechanists what is one thing that they wish they could measure during this Winter Olympics. Here's what they said. In speed skating, it would be very helpful to have accurate, instantaneous speed and position data on a 400 meter track. Where does a speed skater increase its speed and where does it lose speed? In snowboarding, I would love to record forces underneath of the feet of all the athletes, as well as with a bit of magic underneath of the boards during takeoff and landings from aerial maneuvers. For the sport of ice hockey, I think one of the most interesting things to be able to measure at the games would have to be skating technique. Skating has pushed the sport of ice hockey to drastically evolve over the last 20 years, even in the last five. Specifically, it would be very interesting to look at the forces that these men and women are producing and how they're directing those forces to accelerate, turn, and stop at different locations on the ice. In para sports, I think that in competition, research is lacking um, in almost any sport. So, for example, in para uh, Nordic skiing, I think that just the ability to put a, an IMU GPS sensor on these athletes as they move around the track could provide some extremely interesting and valuable information. For example, tell us a bit about how individuals with these different impairments are affected by and how they handle different segments of the course depending on the course profile and the race terrain. From a biomechanical point of view, the largest unknown is the lift or strain, the, the flight phase. This is really difficult to measure directly. It is possible in a wind tunnel, but of course here you have an auto issue and it does not represent the reality after all. But the lift force is crucial for a high jump length and also helps to be stable during the flight and therefore I believe this would be a parameter that would be really interesting to measure but also very difficult. In figure skating at the Olympics I would love to be able to collect data from a wearable sensor to determine the characteristics of jumping elements, namely rotation speed, airtime, and number of rotations completed. Collecting these metrics from elite skaters during competition would provide a quantitative description of gold standard jump performance which could be useful for skaters, coaches, and biomechanists. I don't think there's one thing that I would measure, but I would like to have all the world's um, best biomechanics minds all in the same place watching free skiing and um, then afterwards hearing their opinions on, on how they would measure certain, certain aspects of the sport. Check out the next video to find out what the biomechanists think we'll learn before the next Winter Olympics or what we've discovered since the previous one. For more biomechanics content, make sure to subscribe to our channels using the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Yes, nine sports. No. <laughs> Every time.